this is an ASMR video. Let me just check one thing quick. Looks good to me. I just wanted to check the gain on the microphone. I moved it around. Um, I had to shift a few things in my room and the other uh, rooms as well um, because new windows uh, went into the building. Uh, I had a contractor in the last week uh, renewing things up. I still haven't put up blinds yet. I have this blanket over the window uh, because the window sill sills measurement um, changed with the new window. So it's about an I think half an inch difference. Some, no, maybe. Yeah, some, something like that, half an inch. So I have the option of cutting the blinds down to fit them or buying new blinds. And I think I'm just going to buy new blinds because the old ones I have now, I don't have anything to cut them with. I would need a table saw with a blade that can cut through metal. I don't have that. Um, my work doesn't even have that. I think my work usually had it, but I think my boss Loki steals shit from the workplace, and I mean, that's on him, so I'm not gonna say anything, but it is what it is. Um, my other job, I think technically they have, have one, but I'm not going to do that. Then I could go to maybe Home Depot and rent a table saw, but then that's like $100 to rent, so then I might as well just buy the new blinds if I'm doing that. So, it doesn't make sense. Um, the hacksaw method, I mean, like, it's a lot to cut through for a hacksaw. Um, I could buy a bigger hacksaw. I just have with a mini one. Um, and then you put in the labor, and then these are old blinds. So, I mean, like, the effort. And it would definitely be more convenient just to buy new blinds. So there's that as well. So I think for the convenience and the lack of a table saw, I'm going to buy new blinds and I'm going to put those up. And I went to Home Depot and they told me that the person that cuts the blinds to size is on vacation so they can't cut the blinds. So I'm going to have this sheet um, covering the window for the next couple days. And it's like a moldy old smelling sheet. Uh, so it kind of sucks, but I mean, it is what it is. Um, the living room blinds, which aren't like the full, the full down, like collapsible blinds that you pull the string to. They're the door blinds that have the longer ones. Um, I put those up. So I put those back up. I just needed a drill and a uh, screwdriver, and I put those back up. Excuse me. So that's done. Um, what else did I need to do? I guess vacuum, because it's a little bit, like, not dusty, but, like, a little bit of, like, windowsill um, wood chips or from the contractors. I have a new deck coming in soon too. Um, so, it's a lot going on there. I recently saw my sister and I made some videos previously, some ASMR videos talking about this, that I was going to go visit my sister. I did. Uh, the trip was a success. Um, I saw both of my sisters baby, visited with family, and I went out, and I looked around the city, and I took in Chinatown, and a few other of the uh, landmarks. I didn't have too much time, but I rode the train, which is nice, because I come from a bit of more of a small town. It's growing now. It was, it was small and rural when I was a kid. Now it's kind of a larger town slash small city, but we don't have any decent transit, we don't have any trains, anything like that, although they're always talking about putting them in, but it's always pushed further and further down, and I don't know if they have the money for it, um, I 
can't see it happening, but it, it's like, it's needed like 20 years ago type thing. Well, not that far, but at least, at least eight or nine years ago. Um, but anyways, I just got back from work. My back hurts. Um, I don't know if my back pain is actually work related. I don't want to imply that necessarily. It definitely partly is because I'm, I'm in labor and I'm using my back. Um, and I'm standing for long periods of times, but it t seems to actually hurt more when I'm sitting than when I'm standing. Um, I just need to kind of hang from a pull-up bar or something to kind of expand the, the spine jellies or whatever they're called. Um, because I think I have a little bit of compression in the lower back of the spine. It's a little bit of a muscle imbalance too. I think I need to have stronger hamstrings probably and a bit more strength in the core and the obliques or whatever, but maybe a little bit of tightening in the quads, um, too tight in the, in the quads. I, I think this is at least what the physio told me when I went there like three years ago. I still do the exercises they prescribe to me, but not as much as I should because I've been busy um, and my schedule is always changing and it's kind of annoying. Um, but um, hanging from a pull-up bar does help. So I'm gonna do that after I finish this video. And I think what the back problem was is when I was in high school, um, I used to just do max deadlifts all the time. Like I would do max deadlifts like one rep top max deadlift like twice a week, three times a week. And I did that for like two years. So I was a bit of a crazy person and that probably started the back stuff. Also what added to the back stuff is I've always been like at work, which I work labor jobs, I always try to be the guy that does the most. And it's so stupid to try to do that, to break your back for such low pay, just for like some kind of ego boost or whatever. And I'm finally, being humbled and learning that I shouldn't have been doing that. But at the same time, now the economy is so weird and people are grinding and so competitive that you have to do it now. And before I should have just been taking it easy because people were a little bit more mellow. And I don't know a workaround for that. I, I think I want to go back to school or try to do social work. I've, I've floated so many different career options on this channel. Um, obviously I want the YouTube channel to work more than anything because it would create passive income and I think investments in passive income are very important in today's world, um, to have something that can just grow without you, um, needing to put in any real physical labor or even much mental labor to be honest. Um, but some of the things that I floated on this channel were welding and I still have that weld course coming up. Um, in September, not next month, but the month after. Um, it's just like an intro day course to see if I like it. Um, then I have a different class driver's license um, exam coming up to open up doors that way. I've taken my first aid. Um, I have different like work from heights type like um, lift certificates, like scissor lift type certificates, but that's not that important, but kind of what I'm thinking is like so many different things and so many different roads and I'm so indecisive and it's later in life. So I know people are, are going to get sick of me saying like stuff like this, but hopefully the channel obviously, but, um, welding, ambulance and social work are the main three that I'm kind of looking into and they all have their pros and cons. And I think the biggest con of the welding would be health effects. I think the biggest con to social work would be um, kind of, I don't know, I don't think you'd have to change diapers and I don't know if you need a degree necessarily because some say that you, you, um, you would be a support worker. Um, some say that you do need the degree, some don't mention it. So I think the con there would be actually just finding the position because there'd be probably people with like Bachelor of Arts degrees that are not finding work with their bachelor degree and they're just going to kind of cut ahead of you and say i have this degree so look at me look at me but i actually have more experience in the real world dealing with people with disabilities and homeless people and all kinds of um different situations when I, i've been doing 
my jobs and just my social life, friends, family, just kind of being down and out and having real life experience. So if they give it to some college student, which has just a piece of paper, it would be disappointing, but that's the way it goes. Um, so I'd have to look into upgrading more college courses to maybe get my foot in the door that way. And that's kind of ridiculous to pay like $8,000 to make like a $23 an hour or something. That's, that's absurd, but that is what it is. Um, the last was the ambulance, which is a unionized job. And it would be a good foot in the door for even like fire department or something like that. So there is a ladder to success. The cons obviously to that is that's probably one of the most high stress, fast paced jobs when shit hits the fan that you can find. Um, so it's kind of sink or swim and I have a, a slow processing time sometimes. Um, so I don't know if I can, if that would be too much. Um, if I would bite off too much, I can chew with that one. But those are the three options I'm looking at. Um, I'm also looking at upgrading like high school courses that I didn't finish and things like that. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's interesting. And I talked to my boss at my second job today about changing my hours to the weekend so I can potentially do schooling. So that was nice. Um, but yeah, I don't really know what I'm doing there. Um, I wanted to say something just now, but I forgot it was on a different topic completely, but it was important and it was, well, maybe not necessarily important, but somewhat interesting that's happened recently. Um, I think this is it, but maybe not. I think, actually, I think it's it, but it's actually, I've realized that it's not going to be completely interesting to many people, but, um, that's actually a positive for an ASMR video because people are trying to fall asleep, so you want to be somewhat interesting, but you want to be somewhat boring too. It's a balance on these things. Um, there's a co-worker at my job who's moving out of the country, uh, back to their own country because, well, not their own country, but you know what I mean, their country of origin, which is Belgium. Um, and if you don't know Belgium, it is basically uh, between... The Netherlands and France, I believe. Um, and yeah, she says it's too expensive here and it's cheaper in Belgium. Um, rent is cheaper, food is cheaper, education is cheaper. Um, I don't know if she said jobs pay more or not, but she also said she's moving back in with her parents. I think she's about 28, something like that. And she moved here with her husband, which is a helicopter pilot. And he was hoping to get on board with the fire season and make that money, that sweet succulent cash injections. Um, but we've had a mild wildfire season, which is good. We don't want forests to burn, but it was bad for him because he only uh, got a few contracts. I don't know how his pay works. Um, he can't take like social security, like employment insurance type things because he's not a resident. So he's probably... If there's only one fire in the whole summer and it's a less active season, he's probably hurting pretty bad. And she's a receptionist, so she's not making much. So she's moving back to Belgium and he's he has a two year contract, so he has to stay here. So they're gonna be they're married. Or maybe they're not. I think they either just just got married like a month ago or they're engaged and they're fiancés. I think it could be either way because I saw her with the wedding band and she was planning her wed wedding. I don't know if it happened. She doesn't like talk to me about those things, but like if they're husband and wife and she's moving back to a different country to live with her parents and they're long distance husband and wife, that's crazy, man. Like, I don't know what the, they're gonna do. I don't know which person would be harder on the man or the woman in that kind of situation, but things are getting out of hand. Um, a lot of inflation. People are complaining. Um, I think it's great that's doing it, um, especially with the groceries. You see people that are basically getting these super yachts, and then you have people that are living with their parents in, in like droves. So, I think people are kind of stupid and things are going to swing 
in favor of rich people every time. And I don't want to get too political, but that's just the way I see it. And I, I see um, a lot of failures on the left, and I see a lot of failures on the right. And I, I see that there's more conservative and more liberal thinkers that are both looking to protect their investments and lobby and lobbyists control what the government do does and the people that are actually working trying to build a family are getting burnt really bad and I think that we're going to see a rollback of rights and protections and freedoms in, in the future and I see a lot of content on the internet now that is glorifying and favoring Nazism which is concerning um, I'm not a Nazi, but I actually am reading Mein Kampf right now just to see kind of what, like from the horse's mouth, what he's been saying. And I'm probably going to put in the title of this ASMR video, Reading Mein Kampf, to try to get like shock viewers into clicking. If I did, that's what this was, what I'm talking about now. And hopefully I didn't disappoint you, but I might not put that in the title any anyways. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure how to market or advertise this channel. Um, I've seen like some people on YouTube that are like dipping their face in their head in like paint to try to get views. Um, then you have the Hokta girl that just said that one thing and now she's like doing country concerts or something and she's like made a million dollars so the internet is weird. Um, and I'm not bashing it, like I mean like any way to feed yourself. Like you, got, it's hard out there, and I'm I'm building a, a channel, at least trying to myself. So I mean, it is what it is. Um, about the mind Kampf, um, so far, like I'm I'm only like a quarter in. His ideology is basically like Vikings, like let like handicap people die and and conquer your neighboring surroundings. Obviously, a lot of anti-Semitism, and. I know that if this channel blows up, which I, I'm not saying it will, but I'm hoping it will, somebody could definitely clip me saying something like I just said 20 seconds ago, and it would be that'd be a crazy soundbite to to circulate the internet. But going to more positive things, it was nice seeing my sister. It was good traveling. It's expensive to travel. I can't do that often. I see so many people that are traveling and they're posting these travel vlogs and they're doing all this stuff on social media and it's like how the fuck are these guys getting this money like are they taking bank loans do they have like rich partners um like are they doing something illegal uh, do they have rich families um how do you budget this like are they staying in hostels it doesn't seem like it um it doesn't make sense how some people just are so loosey-goosey and I guess people's life trajectories are just different, and some people are just kind of stuck, um, and I feel stuck, I really feel stuck, um, I said on this channel, my ex-girlfriend texted me, it's like a week or two ago, just wanting to say hi, now I'm kind of regretting not saying hi, maybe I'll send how are you in the next week or so, I still gotta think about it, cause that relationship was rough, man, it was really rough. And I went through a little bit of the text, and she was dishonest, and I don't think she was ever attracted to me, really. Um, she was settling, and then she broke up with me abruptly, and now she texted me after seven months. And, I mean, I'm not perfect either. And, I mean, I am kind of wondering maybe if we can just be friends and then because I I get alone sometimes I get lonely sometimes so I mean even like we were doing puzzles for a while she would come over and we'd do puzzles and that was nice and it was relaxing and it was good just to turn my brain off and have company and just to do something with somebody um there's a co-worker at work who invited me to do um metal detector gold panning um and that's going to be fun because i do that anyways um but that's not going to be for another two months because he's really busy with two jobs in school but he suggested it he has my number so that's going to happen and that's good um because i've been wanting 
to get out more and socialize more, and he's a cool dude. Um, it's good to meet people that you vibe with. Some people you don't vibe with, some people you do. It's just the way it is. There's a chemistry between people. And me and my ex, we vibed, but we didn't get along. It was so weird. It was like an opposites attract vibe. Like we both knew each other immediately. Like I knew who she was. She knew who I was. We weren't fully liking each other at some points, but we wanted to try it and pursue it anyways. And it, there was something to that, but it didn't work in the end. But now I'm wondering, our relationship didn't work, then maybe I could reach out back to her text and reply and maybe spark a friendship from this. Um, enough time has passed for feelings to go away, like romantic feelings. And I could maybe pursue this as a friendship. And that's on the table and that's something that I'm probably going to do, but I don't know how to respond and I'm very busy this week, so it would be like, oh hey, how are you, are you alright, oh yeah, I'm alright, blah, blah, blah. and then I don't want to talk in person, but then I'm busy this week, um, so it would be like, oh well, let's do this, well, I guess I could, I guess I could do that, I could, I just feel so weird shooting that text. It's like a hesitation, and maybe I even didn't pull the trigger in time enough even for the friendship, and maybe I'm going to regret not doing that. Um, nobody wants to be alone. Um, but, so... I got overly personal there a few times, and I shared some controversial stuff as well, but, I mean, this is a day in my life, um, some of the thoughts that I have rambling in the old noggin, I don't know if anyone knows who Jordan Peterson is, I think most of my channel for my talk videos do, because I go into politics and psychology sometimes. On my ASMR side, I'm not sure. He's a Canadian psychologist that has some controversial views. Um, he's a right-wing guy. And I listened to his original lectures when he first kind of started coming out um, because they were very interesting to get. I, I listened to the Yale University lectures as well on their YouTube channel. I've listened to the Andrew Huberman stuff and, and other people. And I kind of like to get free education and he was posting like Jungian psychology lectures at his um, college or university or whatever for free. It was very interesting. And he used to wor warn about echo chambers and I'm kind of seeing him now fall victim to his own warning and he's kind of in his own echo chamber and he's trying to do like a, basically like a Tate University thing now which is kind of cringe. And I saw a clip of him recently where he suggested that people who don't like to drive are evil and psychopathic. So, I mean, he's getting, like, these very outrageous conspiratorial opinions now that are very radicalized. And it's kind of sad to see because, like, the whole clean your room, keep your chin up, and incorporate your shadow, and watch what people are doing, their intentions type things, don't lie, like his original advice was so solid and now he's kind of this echo chamber, kind of almost like a con man and it's it's unfortunate to see um, the all beef diet, like I'm not really critical of that because I do eat a lot of meat myself and I find that the meat is a, a huge one up on processed stuff and sugars but I think he's just doing this meat thing just to kind of tit for tat against vegans and I think everything he he does and says is politicized and pathologized at this point but anyways um good to see my sister um 
job stuff, the window stuff, um, the gold panning stuff, uh, the work stuff, so college stuff, some things that are new. Um, yeah, so I'm going to close this video up in about two minutes, three minutes. This might be one of my longer ASMR videos. I'm at 25 and a half minutes now. I might even close this up at near 30. We'll have to see, but um, I'm going to wish everyone well, and then I'll see where it goes from there. Um, I hope everyone's doing really good in life. I hope you're taking time to relax and take care of yourself. It gets stressful out there. Um, sometimes it feels like it's too much, but you gotta keep fighting. You can't give up. You need to stay strong. And you need to find purpose and meaning and love and people that accept you for you. You need to respect yourself. You need to respect other people. And people need to respect you. Um, make sure you're drinking water. Make sure that you're getting your vitamins. It's hard to take care of yourself, especially in a busy world. If you let your dishes stack up for too long, if you let your laundry stack up for too long, this will, this will hit you when you don't want it to hit you. I promise you. So try to stay on top of these things. Try to look after yourself uh, the best you can, but always take time to lay down, clear your mind, meditate, listen to ASMR, do something, take your shoes off, put your feet into the grass. I'm not like a whole grounding type guy, but I don't think it has like huge health benefits, but it does feel good. Touch grass, get some sunlight, talk to some people, smile, laugh, watch a comedy video, do something good for your mental health. Spend time with family. Be appreciative. Give thanks. Every day above day ground should be a blessing. And we get so caught up in the in the, the grind and the and the hustle and just sometimes we lose sight of that. And I think we need to stay in the moment more and take time for yourself more. Breathe some fresh air. Take time. If you're taking time for yourself now, listening to an ASMR video, that's good and you deserve it. You've been working hard. And if you haven't, I'm sure you will be in the future. Sometimes you get burnt out. That's okay, but make sure that if you lay down, you eventually get back up. Um, as for the state of this channel, I want to try to do a little bit more tapping videos. I want to obviously be doing these ramble videos still because they're uh, somewhat popular. I think they've been getting about between four and 700 views um, per video. It's something. Um, I've been getting comments. The comments help the algorithm. So if you leave comments, this channel will, will build faster. And if that happens, I can do this more. And if you like the channel, um, it increases the likelihood of me still doing this channel because I take time to do this channel. I feel like it's a good way to spend my time and I'm trying to use it as an investment and trying to get some money from it. I'm saying that just with full transparency and if it doesn't bring in any money, I will eventually have to stop. So if you do like this video, leave comments, like, subscribe, all this type of thing, because I do need to keep it going if this is what I'm going to do. Even if this is what I'm going to do as a side thing, I still, I'm going to need some comments and some things that'll help trickle, trigger the algorithm. And I, I hate saying this because it, it makes me come across as needy and it, and it makes it, me kind of cringe at myself and but it's true, like the algorithm needs to get triggered um, for this to be worthwhile and to take off and I need comments and f for that. Um, so say something um, if, if you have the time to say something. And I do hope everyone's doing good. I truly believe, 
I truly believe that if you focus on yourself and you, you take time to rest and clear your mind, you, you'll have a better position in life. So I hope we all take time to rest and we stay hydrated and have our vitamins and all the stuff I just said. God bless everyone. I love all you guys. Thanks for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, hopefully this was relaxing. If you fell asleep, that's cool. Um, this is an update to my life, the channel, a few things that were on my mind. And thanks for checking out the channel. Like and subscribe if you want to. Peace out.